If you can draw a circle or a square in Microsoft Paint, then you can learn how to use a CNC machine. In fact, that's why I bought this one right here. It came with software that's intuitive and easy to use. Right here on screen, I've got the software up. This is called Carbide Create. It came with the CNC machine. The first thing you want to do is set up your workspace. So imagine that you've got a big piece of material that's sitting on top of your CNC machine. And you're going to cut parts out of that material. That's what this view shows you. Head over here to the gears and make sure you have it set up. So my piece is 38 wide and 49 tall from the front to the back of the machine. Most of my projects are made out of three quarter inch MDF. For those of you who are new to my channel, I build speakers and I use my CNC machine to cut parts for speaker projects. MDF is typically true to size. So if you're dealing with something like MDF, you can just punch in the size right here. For pretty much any other material like plywood or a natural wood product, you want to actually grab some calipers and measure it before you punch that in. You can set the zero height. I I always set mine to the top, meaning I'm going to use the top as my zero. And then the toolpath zero, you can set zero anywhere you want. I always set it to the lower left. Then I can choose the material type. I can choose my type of machine and the retract height. So the retract height tells you how far up the machine will move on its Z axis, the vertical axis. And right here, you can set the units to inches or millimeters, whichever is your preference. I'm going to use inches because I'm in the United States. Hit OK and you're all set up and ready to start designing designing your project. A big part of that design process is laying out all of your parts on your workpiece. You want to figure out a way to do that as efficiently as possible. So before you actually start designing things, you want to take a look at the grid. Go right over here to this grid. And when you hover the mouse over that grid, it says set grid. So just click on that. And I like to do a grid spacing of a quarter of an inch. Set that to anything you like, but I have a tendency to think in quarter inch increments. And that just fits my workflow better. Real quick, a little bit about the machine. This is a Shapeoko 5 Pro. I went with this model right here because it was a big upgrade from their previous model. This one uses ball screws. The previous version of this machine used belts and belts will stretch and snap.